Hey engineers! Welcome to LabVIEW Tips and Tricks video 5. Today I wanted to show you how to add VIs that you have created to the standard LabVIEW palettes that you have available under uh, right click on your block diagram. So the standard palette of functions, you can edit that palette of functions and I will show you today how you can do this. And also when we edit the palette of functions we will want to use an option for those functions to drop the VI contents. So how to enable this option to actually not drop the sub VI itself, but instead drop the contents of that sub VI into your, um, into your code. So it will look something like this. I will just open one VI that I have created before. That's the one that you saw in the previous lessons. And I have created an additional LabVIEW menu in the functions palette on my block diagram. So I will be able to show you now how the effect is going to look like. So I can right click and this is the palette that I have created. I call it my templates. The name is not important here. And I have added a couple of things already to this palette. Those things are not uh, extremely useful those are not uh, uh, not the all of the things that I use uh, every time when I'm uh, coding with LabVIEW but this is just a couple of examples that I wanted to show you so I have my event driven state machine template I have my any file key handler template I have a dialog with a case uh, template and I have some utility VI so here basically wait with error cluster and micros, uh, microseconds timer with error cluster and um, this is just a palette that I added manually to my own LabVIEW functions that I have available by default so if I drop this for example even driven state machine VI onto my block diagram then you will see that I do not actually drop the sub VI itself but I drop the contents of that sub VI onto my block diagram so with this I can very easily create some default templates for for my applications and put them into my uh, my own templates palette and then I can just use them and in a previous lesson we saw how to read and parse any files so here I can just show you that for example in the timeout case when I'm handling my state machine imagine that I have a init state and in the init state I want to handle my uh, init files so I created for myself also this init key handler template and this is the same thing I just drop the contents of a VI onto my block diagram and I can edit the contents from here I also have some my uh, I also have my own utility VIs and those utility VIs are basically wait with error cluster so this is nothing special inside this is just a um, sequence structure one sequence of a sequence structure with an error cluster wired through it and this basically forces my uh, execution to wait in sequence with the error cluster passing through the application and I also have a millisecond timer with error cluster that's also just measuring time with an error cluster so also nothing extremely difficult but how do we add this functionality to LabVIEW so the thing that you need to do let me just clear this from here so the thing that you need to do is you need to go to your tools and advanced and here in the advanced palette you will have edit palette set and when we click this it's gonna take a while to load and it will show us this kind of dialog box and also so the functions palette we will see and we will see the controls palette so your functions palette might look a little different but that's not a problem for us also your controls palette might look a little different that's also not a problem for us the thing that we are interested in here is just 
to be able to define that we want to link with some kind of a folder of functions, for example. And, and the option that you can choose is right click on any empty space and you can insert. And you can insert a sub palette, you can insert a VI or VIs, you can insert an empty slot, empty row, or a select a VI option. So here we want to insert a sub palette. Like I have here my templates, I will remove this sub palette. So I will delete this one and I will add it once more. So I had created a folder with all of the functions that I added here. And I put this folder next to my lab view uh, executable. You don't, you do not have to put it in program files and next to your lab view executable. Actually, the location of this folder with your functions is not, uh, not that important as long as you do not delete it from your disk. So if you put it in a safe place, it can be any folder. But let's right click here and let's insert a sub palette. And here in this option, let's specify that we want to link to a directory. And let's click OK. And now I will have an option to choose which directory I want to link to. So I have, like I said, I put my functionality in program files and here in national instruments. Lab you 2013 and I put my functions and user library and my templates. So this is the folder that I'm interested in. So I will select this folder and you will see that I actually successfully added this folder once more to my lab view. And then when you add a folder, you can actually edit also the icons for this folder that you have in your functions palette. And you do this by right clicking on it and you can go to edit sub palette icon. Here you will have an option to modify the icon. So let's say this is utility, utility functionality that I have here, or those are the functions that are related with timing in my application. So I'm just going to use uh, this, uh, this weight uh, glyph. So let's click OK. So now, as you can see, I have a, I have this glyph used as the, as the icon for my functions. So this is the way how you add palettes. And also one other thing that we wanted to mention is how do you define that you want to drop the contents of a VI instead of the sub VI itself? You just need to right click on the elements that you have added and you need to uh, select an option to place the VI contents like here, like, like so. And then I can also choose to deselect this option. And if I deselect this option and I save everything, so save changes, I'm going to be notified what are the changes that I actually have done. I'm going to continue. And as you can see here, all of the modifications have been successfully added. So I can go to my templates and I have disabled the option for placing the VI contents for this any key handler. And from now on, it will behave like this. So I will just put in a sub VI instead of putting the sub VI contents like I did before. So this is the way how you edit uh, this is this is the easiest way how you edit the LabVIEW menus. Uh, this is how you specify that you want to drop the VI contents of your functions. And if you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see videos like this in the future. Thanks.